Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nets video series on bit manipulation interview question series and this is question number 6. Find non-repeating element from an array. What I mean is, if your array is like this, we have 1 and 1 repeating, 2 and 2 repeating, 4 and 4 repeating, 5 and 5 repeating, but 3 is non-repeating element, right? So you have to find 3 from this. And the question is, this 1 and 1, 2 and 2, we can see that they are repeating. So they can repeat only in pairs. They cannot repeat like 1, 1 and 1. No. Then 1 is one single, right? Like they cannot repeat like 1, 1, 1, 2. No. Array is not like this. Because we have pair here, but then we don't have pair for this. We need pair for this. Now it is okay. So our array is like this. Okay. And this is Google interview question. And you will be surprised to see the answer. Or the brute force approach would be that you have two loops like i and j and with i you just choose I mean you choose this one and you go from j to n and search this one is present. If you find it you just break that and then your i start from here okay and then your j will start from here. So it's like double loop and you just try to find out which one is the single element but this is like n square problem this is not a good problem what else we can do we can sort these numbers so if you sort it it will be like 1 1 2 2 3 4 4 and 5 and 5 so now also you can check in the pairs so it's like n log n for sorting and then n for traversing again so we have n log n complexity which is still not that great because we still have this multiplication here and this can go very bad if your n is very big. So what is the best solution? We can use as this is bit manipulation interview question series we have to use bitwise operators right? Yeah so here the winner is XOR operator. So the point is see XOR's property is let me clean this that if you XOR with same number like 2 XOR with 2 the result is 0. 1 XOR with 1 result is 0. So if you XOR n with n result is 0. So n is like any number your result will be 0. So the point is you XOR 1 with 1, 2 with 2, 4 with 4, 5 with 5. So the result of all these would be 0 and ultimately you will get 3 as an output. But now you might be thinking like how would I find 1? I mean I want to do XOR this one with this right? So I have to find this one. This one can be here, here, here. No. The idea is the best part is if you have this much small array 1, 2, 1 and 2 or you have 1, 1, 2, 2. If you do XOR with each and every number like if you apply for loop in this array and XOR 1 with 2 whatever comes the result you XOR that result with this one and then whatever comes as a result you XOR that with this two then result would still be zero what I mean is let's suppose you have integer sum is equal to zero and we can have a for loop i is equal to zero to i less than okay so if you have like this for i is equal to zero to n so n is like we have four numbers in this so n is like 4 and we do this sum xor equal to array of i. So the end result after completing this for loop your sum would be 0 if your array is this or it is this. So it doesn't matter where this one is present actually it should just present twice. So it doesn't matter where it is. If you will keep on doing xor the result would still be 0 in the end. So now you know your answer, you just have to write this piece of code and your Google interview for this question is really very good. I mean, I don't know, they will ask you this question again or what, I don't know, but this is the trick. And this trick only works if this repeating elements are in pairs. And this non-repeating element is only single element in the array, okay? So, and yeah, let's suppose we have three here, I just forgot to mention that. If we have three here and we are processing this, then some would contain 3 in the end because the whole idea is as you know all these pairs will get to 0 and ultimately you are doing XOR 
zero with three because three is present, right? So zero x or three answer is three. Why? Because zero 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 x or operation three is what zero double one, and we know if two bits are different, answer is one. Two bits are different, answer is one. Two bits are same, answer is zero. So it is again three. That's why your sum would be three in the end, and you have the answer. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos.